Aren't you tired of all these small cranes compared to big mine shaft? Therefore, I'm going to show you how to build a really big and nice looking crane. The first thing you want to do is to build a square with four spruce logs with three blocks in between, just like this. Then build up each pillar to a height of 35 blocks. When you now have your pillars, you want to take some polished andesite stairs and place them upside down and then normal to create this pattern going zigzag between the pillars so when you hit the wall you just turn and the same thing again you want to do that all the way up so right here you're going to place another upside down stair on top then repeat on each of the four sides one important detail that i forgot to tell you was that if you started in this corner building upwards you want to start in the same corner on this side so it's turning around next step is to place another log on each of the pillars then connect them then you're also going to want to connect these parts of the beams and place logs here here and here build up these logs so they have a height of two blocks and then connect them you can place a log here 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 and here build out these pillars to two blocks and these to three blocks take some dark oak stairs and place them upside down and then normally then you want to just build out six blocks from these stairs so these are going to be six blocks and these are going to be five blocks but they should end at the exact same point grab some waxed copper and build a three by three square right here so all of the beams are connected then build a three by three by three cube from this uh, square and then just add another layer of copper on each of the sides then finally you can add a cross with copper in the middle right here so it should look like this take some more spruce logs and build out 10 blocks from this block do the exact same thing right here go underneath and build out nine blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine take some dark oak stairs and place them normally this time then upside down now you want to build out another 10 blocks from up here which means that this underside is going to be 11 blocks now you want to place a log here skip one two three blocks and place another log and do the exact same thing on this side you can break these blocks as well as these and replace them with dark oak stairs then also place a spruce log in between just like that break these blocks right here and add a beam going right through instead then add a spruce log right here and then grindstone underneath so it's facing towards the whole uh, tower place a polished andesite underneath and polished andesite stairs connected with the back facing into the block build on three blocks so one two three one two three add a polished andesite stair and a polished andesite in between place another polished andesite right here with stairs with the back facing into it build on three blocks and do the exact same thing so you just repeat this pattern, but you just alternate between which way the chain is facing. Then you're going to get a chain. So you decide how far you're going to want the chain to be. I'm not going to have it that long, but let's say you have it over like a hill and or a mine, like a big uh, ravine maybe. Then you can have it really long, but you decide. So one, two, three, four, five chains things but you decide then now you can just add whatever you want to the bottom right here I'm going to add like a platform for transporting things so yeah let's just start build a platform you want to build you want to place a log right here and then fill out so you build a beam going right through so it sticks out by two blocks and then uh, two blocks on this side place some logs right here here not here 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 then here place spruce fences underneath then another one and to the side build down and to the other side and repeat this until you have gone down one two three four five six blocks now do this on all of the four sides
When you have this shape, you want to connect them with spruce logs. So you can just place one and then connect them like you see me doing right here. Now I want you to build a floor and you're going to use campfires, spruce slabs and trapdoors. So just randomize these. Next step will be to put out the fire. So just right click with a shovel on top of campfires. Now you just have this like cool looking platform. And you could leave it like this or you could add some things. I'm going to add some things. I'm going to show you two things that you can add on top of this. The first thing is going to be barrels. So just place a bunch of barrels on top and just randomize them. So it looks like it's just a big pile of barrels. And as you can see they're floating right now. So just replace the blocks underneath with some spruce slabs. So they are connecting to the barrels. Just like that, and there you go, you have a cool looking barrel transportation or something. Next thing we're going to add is some ores. So you want to place a bunch of stone right there, and as we did on the last design, you're going to want to replace all of the blocks underneath the stone with some slabs. So they're actually connected to the floor. Next step is to replace a bunch of the stone with some precious ores you decide whatever it's going to be i'm just going to use some diamond ore emerald ore and some gold ore your final step is going to add some support in between these logs so start off right here with a dark oak stair facing towards the copper ball then alternate between upside down and normal stairs to so create this zigzag looking pattern and you want to do the exact same thing down here but remember to always start with the back of the stair facing towards the copper when it goes down or up one block. Alright, so repeat this pattern in between every single beam. So right here and on that side. But as you can see there is a lot of valuable items right here and you need to transport it somehow. So even though I don't have a tutorial on a ship, I actually have a tutorial on a custom river which you can build your ship on. And I think a beautiful looking river going right around this crane would look crazy good. So click the video right here to the right and I see you there. Bye.